Fighting Spirit Mania. This is going to be Zeke versus DeWalt from the second game of the third set. Bottom left hand corner, we have DeWalt starting as the Brown Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, ooh, can I do a color swap here? Yeah, color swap. So trying again, bottom left hand corner, DeWalt as the Blue Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we have Zeke starting as the Red Zerg. This is going to be on the map Fighting Spirit for a second there. When I was doing this on the Twitch stream, I had just stopped with BSL, so I was hopping and I'm like, wait a minute, what map is this? Fighting Spirit, of course. Fighting Spirit Mania. Overlord looks like it's going to get initial scout. DeWalt really controlling. It seemed like Ziggy was making a game of the last match, and it was one of the more entertaining ones to watch, but it really did feel like DeWalt was in control just top to bottom. This pylon at this location, instead of on the high ground to do his usual thing, makes me think he's going to go for a forge opener. DeWalt is going to get first scout as well. Ziki thus far looks like, yeah, he's going to open up either a nine hatch, or it looks like, yeah, he's going to go for that nine hatch build. Interesting. Kind of, we saw it in BSL, now we see it right this second, potentially. Maybe he's going to opt back to it. Yeah, he, I think once that probe engaged... He's like, let me go ahead and fold back to the spawning pool. But getting that initial 300 resources, this drone, after taking some damage, going to go ahead and fall back. Has to deal with this annoying probe in his base, and you don't want it. I think there's, like, one worse. Well, there's pro gamer probes in your base, but there's also Bonneth probes in your base, which I think could be even more frustrating. DeWalt, late on placing his forge, still should be okay, but, yeah, I don't think it's going to cost him because that... Spawning pool came down a bit later as well. But does want to make sure to get that cannon down post-haste, and he's still going to want to pull probes off the line to potentially deal with incoming Zerglings. And I do believe we are going to see that initial flood of six Zerglings should prompt two cannons. So this finishes. This is clever. So Zeki acting as though he's going to send the Zerglings to try to force the two cannons out. That does prompt DeWalt to go ahead and drop those two cannons. But instead, he made a round of drones. The probe sees it, however. Still some lost resources from the canceled minerals, but delayed that Nexus a bit. So a little bit of mind games there. Natural expansion online. And actually, Zeke doing a lot of work on this probe, down to just 7 health. Two Zerglings starting to move out. Gas being grabbed. And that third hatchery looks like it is, for once, going to be able to come online without too much harassment from either a probe or a zealot or something else. It is going to get scouted, though. Well, okay, I thought it was going to get scouted. As I was, like, meandering down the map, that was bad map control. Zergling gets the kill. Second probe sneaking out. It's going to check the 6 o'clock location. Gateway on the front door. Nexus about halfway finished. We do see the assimilator coming online for DeWalt as well. So both players folding back. Ziki opening up the nine pool. Made up a little bit of ground with the fake Zergling shenanigans. DeWalt still seeing the natural expansion. Let's see if he wanders up to go ahead and get a look at that third. He's going to know it's a three hatch opener of some kind. I think we are going to see, yeah, three hatch Muta rather than rehatch Hydra this time. DeWalt does have that cybernetic score morphing behind this. So it's looking like this is looking like a much more typical I don't know what to call it. The the baseline meta that's always been has always been the three hatch muta opener. So no no nine seven three shenanigans. Probe still kind of doing the I spit in your face as I go to grab minerals. Additional Zerglings being built. I think Ziki wants to try to hunt down that. Also getting Zergling speed. Wants to try to hunt down that probe. Put DeWalt in the dark sooner rather than later. Zealot in the gap. Plus one weapons being upgraded. And that first Zealot starting to march out. That Overlord is going to see it. Making its way across. And I'm wondering if this is a timing thing from Ziki. Just starting to adapt to DeWalt's timing. Get the extra Zerglings. Just knowing that the Zealot's going to be on the way. The Zealot actually making its way back. Ziki also sees it. Range being upgraded for Dragoon. This Was that a misclick? DeWalt might be in a spot of trouble because here's the Spire. And there's range being upgraded. 
Is he getting a misread? And there's still no Stargate. So this might be a quick win for Zeki. Zerglings getting an additional kill. He's in the dark. He presumes, well, still might end up not hurting him because there's that fourth hatchery. But yeah, he's going to skip the Stargate altogether. But this is a Spire that's halfway finished. And if Mutalisks end up in the air, and if Zeki just runs forward and spots this Dragoon, honestly, what I would that would provoke a lot of Mutalisks being built for me. However, I'm not sure he's going to have the bank to do it. Expended a lot of resources on just gra uh, on grabbing that fourth hatchery. This almost feels like maybe these guys, like before the match, are like, you just want to play a straight-up macro game? Like no aggressive shenanigans, potentially? Second Assimilator plumping down. Additional gateways. But this is the big story here is there's no Stargate. A lot of Zerglings being built, though, from Zeki. They do have the speed upgrade. Fourth Hatchery is going to be here. Spire's going to finish. I want to see five Mutalisks. Okay, there's the Mutalisks in production. And this could get real scary for DeWalt real fast. Two additional gateways plopping behind this. But he's got two Dragoons for anti-air. And these Zerglings... They're going to go ahead and back out. I think Zeki's got to feel good about himself seeing two Dragoons. Because two Dragoons with this amount of Zerglings to support is nowhere near sufficient to deal with Mutalus. Plus, there's no cannon defense in the main or the natural expansion. It looks like, okay, I take it back. Two cannons being dropped at the natural expansion. But DeWalt is just assuming that these Mutalisks are not going to make their way to the main. And even with these cannons, the Mutalisks might be on top of this. Sooner rather than later, there's some Scourge. Ooh, gathering up. If he just moves now. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of damage. Go, Zeke, go! First cannon just coming online. I think he might have been able to get on top of that and take it out. Still a lot of probes getting wiped out. And without Corsairs coming to engage. So the Zealoth initially making some steps forward, but now backing out. Cannons look like they're... In the main as well. So three gateways worth of production. And Zeki's got a dominant composition here. DeWalt will be lucky. So yeah, no map control. Now moving into the main. And there's no cannons covering a lot of this territory. There's just the Dragoons to try to engage. So a bit of a misstep here from DeWalt overall. The Dragoons... Yeah, first of all, they're... In even numbers, well, they do decent damage against Mutalisks. DeWalt trying to spread them out, but still losing several of them. And this, keep in mind, Dragoons are not cheap. They are not cheap in any way, shape, or form. So Zeki's economy sailing up to 36. Also going ahead and grabbing the Hydralis Den behind this. The third base not even under threat. He's got the Zerglings nearby just in case the Zelts want to make a move. A cannon trying to come online. Might lose that gateway. Loses yet another Dragoon. And Zeki has just been thrashing. Oh, man. High Templar are coming out. DeWalt's lucky these High Templars know this. High Templar is certainly going to get picked off. So a lot of gas. And DeWalt just playing a char uncharacteristically. Maybe the last game fatiguing him. A couple Dark Templar out. Looks like some Zealots marched forward. Almost like a different player this match. Some drones going to transfer. Yeah, and finding nothing here. A Sim City there. Hydralis Den as well. Going to come back to home base. And these Zealots, I think, mostly marching forward to try to get DeWalt some breathing room. But Zeki with an immense amount of map control. Tacking on what is presumably his sixth hatchery. Third gas. Level one weapons for the Hydralis spinover. Also getting uh, speed. Kind of interested in Zeki's decision to go ahead and rather than mass Mutalisk at this stage... And just play air control to fold back to Hydralisk off the, the six hatchery. I'm actually interested in if there's a very skilled Zerg out there to know. The, maybe it was just, well, I've already got the hatcheries. Let me just macro up and proceed from there. DeWalt's opting to go for a Dark Archon and get Maelstrom upgraded to help deal with these Mutalisks. That plus the Psy Storm can be devastating, but he's still bleeding troops. That's a lot of gas lost. That was 300 gas right there. Plus all the Dragoons that had killed. These Mutalists have been absolute terror. 
absolute terror. Zeke with the supply lead. I think he saw the Dark Archon as well. Hydra is starting to amass to deal with this. Now, with a Maelstrom and some Psystorm, that might have been a threat, but some additional High Temple are going to be needed, and their energy needs to grow, and that requires staying alive. Plus one weapons is online for DeWalt. Zeke starting to move forward for a potential contain situation. As soon as this range finishes, I'm guessing we're going to see Lurker Tech as well. Unless he just straight up goes for the bust on the front. Which might be what we're seeing. He's poking away, just focus firing that gateway. Doesn't care about those Zealots. Now the Zealots engaging. The Mutalists were microing instead behind this to take a cannon down. Zerglings flooding forward. So Zeke just opting. A Maelstrom only catching, it looks like, four of those Hydralisks. Putting them in uh, pseudo stasis. But more Hydralisks pressing in. Zeke now backing off because it looks like there's enough of an attack force from DeWalt in Dragoons and Zealots to push this army back. W maybe wants to stop that forge from level 2 weapons to stop level 2 weapons, but not able to do so. More Hydralisks pouring forward from Zeke. Now these units are much more highly upgraded, but because of all of that Mutalisk harass, they're in much smaller numbers. More Hydralisks pouring forward. The High Templar don't have enough energy yet. There's a nice, I take it back, one great size storm. Another nice size storm to thin things. The forge is down, but not before level 2 weapon finishes. Dwalt regrouping. Zeke is sailing off three bases. He's got, so he's got an economic lead. He's morphing Lurker Tech. Expended a lot of troops there to basically get a forge and a gateway and keep Dwalt's troop count low. And that might have been a calculated gamble. It's kind of one of those things like in chess where it's like, I want to trade the units off the board. And really what that prevents DeWalt from doing is just having that army to be able to wander in large numbers across the map. Zeke playing a... What are you doing, Zeke? He's grabbing a hatchery in the middle of the map. Potentially to get the double gas. He's feeling that confident. Wondering if that potentially could be a throw situation. We'll see. Hydro is grouping up. A lot of Zelt that kind of disrespecting the plus weapons. A couple of grouping of Hydralis look like they're going to eat a side Storm with that Maelstrom. Plus one weapons is there now for the Hydralis, but DeWalt does have a big army moving forward. A lot of damage, and rather than troops, Lurker Tech is not online, so DeWalt actually might have been able to fold this back around. Certainly looks like he might be able to secure. Is he going to go for that third rather than pressing forward? It looks like he's going to peek in here at the 6 o'clock location. Find nothing. Eventually, I have to assume he's going to find this middle base. And that's just there for the taking. Zeke is not canceling it despite not having a ground army. Yeah, still not canceling it. Single Dragoon getting taken off the 6 o'clock location. So Zeke has a great economy, but is way behind in upgrades. And DeWalt is creening forward with a sizable supply lead on top of it. One critical thing, though, is no observers are here. And those lurkers planning from behind, just shredding that Dragoon line. How long are we away? Do we even have a robotics facility? Okay, we have an observatory. It's going to be a minute before an observer is here to join. So Zeke's going to hold for now. And pressing this army back, he's got the hatchery in the middle. That's not long for life, though. The Lurker's trying to press this back. I think this is more a goof game at this stage for both these guys. They're like, are we going to... Zeke uh, being down two sets is like, let's just... We're going to play it out. Not <laughs> the, ex the exhaustion potentially as well. DeWalt grabbing that third base. He's up on supply. Creep colonies being dropped in the middle for Zeke to try to defend this. This is turning into a goofy one. DeWalt folding around... Re-engaging the observers alongside to help deal with those lurkers this time. The drone's going to die as soon as they hatch. And yeah, this base is not going to hold. So Zeke doing things to kind of throw the match at this stage. This is a big resource investment that is down the tubes. Lurkers engaging from the rear angle. No overlord to pick off the observers. And Zeke able... Well, sorry, yeah, Zeke going to call GG right there. 
after being in a commanding position, I think that's kind of one of those, let's see how this plays out games to his opponent. But going to drop the second game, yeah, kind of a weird one altogether. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.